Hi, this is Marto. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Botvinnik and Paul Keres. This game was played in 1948, and I'm not even sure if the game was played in Hague or Moscow. But this is a game from the round 10 of the match tournament between these two players. Botvinnik had white pieces, and he started with d4. Keres played knight to f6, c4, e6. Knight to c3, and Keres played bishop to b4, Nimzo in the defense. e3, Keres castled kingside, a3 attacking the bishop, this is sameish variation of Nimzo in the defense. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, rook to e8, knight to e2, not knight to f3. Botvinnik wants to place his knight to g3, he wants to push pawn to f3 and then perhaps to e4. e5, knight to g3, d6, bishop to e2, knight from b to d7, and Botvinnik castle kingside too. c5, Botvinnik played f3. What about d5? d5 doesn't give white advantage. Perhaps black can even play e4. So we have f3. c takes on d4. c takes on d4. And Keres played knight to b6. Bishop to b2. e takes on d4. Interesting moment. You would expect white to capture on d4 with either the queen or with the bishop. Botvinnik played e4. Bishop to e6, so bishop and knight are attacking the pawn on c4. Defending. Rook to e7. And now queen takes on d4. Queen to c7. What would you do? White to move. Botvinnik played c5. Perfect time to get rid of the weak pawn on c file. d takes on c5. Rook takes on c5 attacking the queen. Queen to f4. Bishop to c1 attacking the queen and Keres played queen to b8. It is white move. How would you continue to attack on black king? Botvinnik played rook to g5. Rook is aiming at the pawn on g7, stating the obvious. Knight from b to d7. It is white to move. This is the most interesting position of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white in this position. Or if you wish, the winning move. Did you find the winning move? Botvinnik sacrificed the rook on g7. Have you seen this? Would you play it? Well, this is check what else. King takes rook. Knight to h5 check. King to g6. If king goes to h8, then bishop to b2 is one of the variations. And after say queen to e5, knight takes on f6, queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, and after king to g7, knight takes on d7, discovered, check, white is winning. So in the game after check we have king to g6, it is white to move. White, play the move and black resigned. Can you see the move? Botvinnik played queen to e3. Queen to d2 does the same job. The threat is queen to g5 or queen to h6. Checkmate. There is no defense. And Keres resigned in this position. Interesting, isn't it?
What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your King Hunt and bye for now.